All right, guys, as you can see, I'm back here in Gatlinburg. I'm all by myself today. Greece is still back home. I'm here one more day. And I decided to bring you back to a place that we reviewed before. Didn't have a great experience because of what we got. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get what we normally get and show you that it's actually a million times better than we said it was last time. Brace yourself, it's Crockett's Breakfast. <laughs> rundown of the menu. Um, I know we did it on the last one, but I'm going to give you one more shot at it. You got your eggs, your stackers, this is what we got last time. I care for it personally. Eggs Benedict's, you got tons of omelet selections. Scramble. You got your pancakes, which are huge. You got the Hungry Hunters Hunt Camp Skillets, chapstick and eggs, Black Bear Camp Skillet, which is what I got today. It's a combo of country or sugar cured ham, I got sugar, pecan smoked bacon, sausage, two eggs, and it comes with corn pone, grits, potatoes, biscuits, gravy, and griddle cakes. So if we leave hungry, we got nobody to blame but ourselves. Got some favorites and waffles. Hot roast Benedict, it's always looked good, but I've never pulled the trigger. French toast, fried cinnamon roll, the giant regular cinnamon roll, which is what we normally always get, but since I'm here by myself, I'm not doing that today. Side dishes, drinks, juices. All right guys, so take a look at this bounty we've got here. We got the eggs, potatoes, we got sausage, we got city ham, we got bacon, we got corn pone, we got biscuits and gravy. Here we've got grits with blackberry jam. That's how I do it. Look at this massive pancake. You eat about three bites of this and then you know that one, please. Oh, so first thing we do is we're gonna try these potatoes. Um, as we've kind of mentioned before, it takes a little bit for me to get everything set up usually, so things are a little cold right now. They have a good taste. They're not as crispy as I'd like them to be. A little, um, but they have a great potato flavor. Throw a little ketchup on that, because why not? The eggs. Put a little hot sauce on the eggs. I'm gonna scrambled eggs. I don't, eat, I don't eat eggs anyway other than scrambled, so um, I mean, I can't really tell you that they'd be better fried or anything, but they're scrambled and they're delicious. That said, eggs are eggs, so you can't really judge too much on eggs, I don't think. This corn pone is just kind of like uh, corn corn cake, I guess. I think you get that Chi Chi's back in the day. It's very corny. It's, um, it's a little on the dry side for me. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, but I don't know. The biscuits are super fluffy. Uh, the gravy, it says sausage gravy and it's tasting sausage in it. Um, but it is flavorful. I like it. Um, it's probably, I don't know, one of the top 10 gravies that I've had in the area, but not, I probably wouldn't get biscuits and gravy on its own, but for what it is, it's pretty good. Let's get in on these grits here. Again, as I'm not a southerner, I, don't, I haven't really gotten into grits too much other than Cracker Barrel. A lot of honestly, to me, grits are just a vehicle for another flavor, whether it be you know, jelly or syrup or salt and pepper or gravy or whatever you want to put in it. Or cheese. Um, this bacon. bacon could be crispier, but it has a good flavor to it. Um, it's smoky and salty. 
I like it. I just would like it better if I added some crunch. This pancake. Look how big this thing is. Look how thick. This is one pancake. It's the thickness of at least a three stack of normal pancakes. I think the pancakes for sure got um, cornmeal in it because it does have a little bit of a corny taste, but it's really fluffy and good, sweet, vanilla-y syrup, a lot of butter on there. I love it. It's a good pancake. It's not one that you're going to want to eat more than one of, I can tell you that, but not because it's not good, just because it'll fill you up. This breakfast sausage here. I'll tell you one thing, Jimmy Dean wishes that he was that sausage right there. That's really good. Um, it tastes like what you would get at the grocery store, plus that by about, I don't know, three times. So, again, there's nothing special about anything here. It just, they just do a good job with everything, and you get so much food when you get um, like this big platter or some of the other things that you might get. This is not a place to come if you're not hungry. It's not a place to come if you're trying to watch your waistline. It's a place to come if you're getting ready to go wander the strip in 100 degree heat all day long or walk up to the mountains either way. Oh, that ham. It's life. Ham. It's a little, maybe just the tad it's a bit on the dry side, but I think that's only because they cook it and then they put it on the flat top after that to get it a little brown. So um, it has a great flavor to it though. I love it. I'm gonna eat ham every chance I get. Yeah, real good. Can't complain at all. This is a million times better than that breakfast sandwich was the last time that we were here. These biscuits are way better with gravy on top of them than they are just eating them by themselves. So it's good stuff. I love it. It's our favorite place. So here's a look at the damage for this meal. I got an endless cup of coffee for $2.99 and the black bear camp skillet with sugar cured ham for $16.99. Trust me, you could easily split this meal. And in Gatlinburg, this is a good deal for the amount of food. 22, 23, all in. Yes, please. All right, guys, so I just finished up my meal here at Crockett's Breakfast Camp. I mean, there's not much to say. It's amazing. I love it. You saw how big the platter was that I got. It was more food than I could eat in two days. Um, it's not the cheapest place in the world, but for down here, for as much food as you get, it's probably one of the best deals you can get. I love it. Like I said, don't get the breakfast sandwich. Get anything else. I've never had anything else that I didn't like from here. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe you can watch this video after the other one and give yourself some ideas of, oh, maybe I actually should go here. So, all in all, awesome. Um, I got to spend all day yesterday with um, Eric and Brittany and Keegan and JC from Smoky Mountain Family. We were ducking Jeeps and it was awesome. It was a great day. This has been a great vacation. The only thing that make it better if Grace was here with me. So. Um, I think if you, you know, keep watching, there may be some new video coming up of a certain mountain monster uh, in our future. So check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. Peace.